Like, what, you think he was something? Because Rick Spillman believed in him? Because Rick Spillman believed in a coward? <laughs> yeah, he the only one. Hmm. What Mike Zimmer say? What Mike Zimmer say, you hear me? Mike Zimmer didn't want to rock with him. Mike Zimmer didn't want to touch him, you hear me? <laughs> he didn't want to touch him, homie. Yeah, Zimmer didn't fuck with him. You hear me? He knew who Kirk was. He knew Kirk wasn't about it, about it, fool. He knew Kirk wasn't no Super Bowl caliber quarterback. Mike Zimmer knew that, dog. And everybody attacked Zimmer for not wanting to work with Kirk. Remember that? Everybody attacked Mike, homie. Didn't say nothing to Kirk, but they attacked Mike, dog. Oh, he's not a good coach. He don't know how to build that relationship. Oh, oh, he's not a good coach. Blame Mike Zimmer. He's toxic. <laughs> he's negative. <laughs> And I agree to some extent. He should at least put the effort in. Kirk in the building, so you might as well give it all you got, 100%. I agree with that. Be a head coach, Mike Zimmer, period. That's why his ass got out the building. You hear me? But at the end of the day, Mike Zimmer didn't want Kirk. He knew who Kirk was. He knew what it takes to win. You hear me? <laughs> Mike Zimmer wanted to keep that money. He wanted to keep Case Keenum and build and build around Case Keenum. Huh? Mike's would have had Guapino to really maneuver. You hear me? Yeah. Let's not forget that, dog. What Rick Spillman do, though? Rick Spillman ass. Rudy Pooh candy ass, huh? He had to get Kirk. He had to get Kirk hyping everybody up. Oh, Kirk is the next best thing. Oh, it, oh, he, he going to put the Vikings over the hump. <laughs> Even though Case Keenum got him to a NFC championship. NFC championship. I don't care what they say about Keenum. He got him nerd. Kirk ain't never got him nerd. You hear me? Yeah, you can't say that about Kirk. You hear me? Huh? You hear me? <laughs> Can't say that about Kirk. At least Case Keenum got him there. You can say that about Keenum. Okay, what they talking about? <laughs> nah, but night. Nah, but Mike Zimmer knew. He said, "Now nah, we got this money right here. <laughs> we got some cap space, dog. Why go give all the man our money? Why go give this bum our money? <laughs> now I can't build my defense. My player is getting older." My players ain't the same. It's time to recycle a little bit. Can y'all help me out? I mean, damn, I am the head coach. I am the motherfucking man of the team, homie. I should control the personnel. What the hell you doing, Rick? What the hell you doing, Rick? You got, got all these damn draft picks, and you ain't drafting one hit yet. All draft busts. All draft busts, Rick. <laughs> ain't nobody talking about Rick, punk ass. <laughs> what about Rick? <laughs> Rick walk off scotch-free because his goofy-ass glasses and this smile that he always got a smile, always got a damn teeth showing. <laughs> Rick Spillman, <laughs> motherfucker always smiling. He <laughs> cheesing. Trust that little rat either. I'm starting to believe he was a rat. He was a snake, boy. Huh? <laughs> Rick Spillman talking about all we hear about, oh, how many draft picks the Vikings got? How many draft picks the Vikings got? Not one hit, homie. You got 30 picks, only one a hit, a hit, two. Kiss my ass, Rick. You hear me? <laughs> Rick, I blame Rick and Kirk. Rick and Kirk, dog. Rick opened the door for Kirk, and Kirk came in and fucked it up. All the momentum the Vikings had <laughs> from 2017. All the momentum. Number one defense. Bitch. Kirk messed the momentum up, dog. <laughs> All the Vikings had to do. Keep Case Keenum or find you a cheaper quarterback. Build your defense, build your offense. Get weapons, dog. What the hell the Vikings do? Give all their money to Kirk Cousins, fake-ass Mr. Believer in Jesus Christ and Christianity, Kirk Cousins, homie. I'm talking about here, family man. Rick Spillman smiling and grinning. Well, he's the key. <laughs> he's the answer. He's the answer. <laughs> Vikings fans, Vikings media, all happy. I remember that. All oh, these Vikings fans so giggly and happy. Oh, we getting Kirk. We getting Kirk. So what? He's a bum. Huh? Bum, homie. We'll get to the comments in a minute, man. Straight bum, duh. Talk to me about Kirk. Mr. Win nothing. Mr. Win nothing, homie. <laughs> you dumbass analyst got the nerve to talk to a to a to a, you, you can't say that to no true Vikings fan, homie. <laughs> get cussed out, homie. Big skull head. <laughs> All the factors you could have named to say why the Vikings won't make the playoffs this season. You hear me? <laughs> Everything you could have said. They say Kirk Cousins is because of Kirk. 
they can't bounce back from letting Kurt go. That was the best thing they ever done. That was the best thing the franchise ever done. Too bad it took this long, homie. He should have been gone three years ago. Talking about Kirk, dog. Everybody ride his nuts. The whole NFL, the whole media ride his nuts, homie. You hear? He ruined the Vikings, homie. He ruined the Vikings. Intentionally. Intentionally, homie. If Kirk would have stayed his ass somewhere else or went to the Jets, the Vikings would have would have played in a Super Bowl by now, homie. The Vikings would have played in a Super Bowl by now, homie. They gave everything to Kirk. Bitch ass. They gave it all to Kirk, homie. <laughs> What'd he do? He shit on him, homie. Every chance he got. Huh? They gave it all to that bum, Kirk. Remember that, Vikings fans. Salary cap, money, guapino, all that, dog. <laughs> Momentum, all that, homie. But they believe in it. Kirk Cousins, dog. Man, clap it up for Mike Zimmer, homie. Clap it up for Mike Zimmer, homie. <laughs> Heavy. He knew who Kirk was. He knew Kirk, who Kirk was, homie. Huh? Huh? Telling me about Kirk? People on here capping and yapping, dog, for a view, dog, for a like, homie, for the clout, homie, just to say anything, dog. Huh? <laughs> These so-called journalists and people in high positions, homie. Big school here, dog. Kidding me? Talking to me about Kirk? They could have said anything. Uh, trenches, O-line still soft on the interior. D-line still soft in the interior. Cornerback room lacks talent potentially, unless unless this, these rookies show up, huh? A lot of unproven guys in the cornerback room, huh? <laughs> Could have said anything. <laughs> oh, of course, it's about Jettis. Will he leave? Will he resign? You hear? Me? Will, will, will they get the deal done? They gonna say Kurt? Come on, bro. EJ, my brothers and cousins went after me for being a Vikings fan. Them guys are bandwagon. My dad's side is 49ers fan. And my cousin and Texans fan for this year, he used to like Vikings. I'm, I'm showing loyalty. Yeah, Skolden, don't be a bandwagon fan. Skolden, keep it true, homie. Keep it true. Watch out for your cousins, too. They might be shysty. They might be shysty, homie. Watch your back. Watch your back, homie. Yeah. You hear me, Skolden? <laughs> yeah, your, your cousins could be foul. Jive turkeys, homie. Jive turkeys. You hear me, Jack? Watch your back with your cousins, dog. Yeah, be, be be very aware of a person who a bandwagon fan who just hop on the winning team and ride nuts. You hear me? Yeah, they ain't got no loyalty, dog. No dignity, no morals, dog. Watch your back, school, and watch your back, homie. One thousand. You hear me? Big school.